OK, we're here at Avonmouth Docks on Enberth, about to load out a milestone piece of equipment, the polar beam, which will go from Enberth down to Cummage Wharf and up to HPC. So as the barge is trimmed down to allow the beam to be loaded, we pump water in. As the barge is then coming up with the load coming on, we've now got to ballast the water out to keep the barge trim and level to prevent any roll in the barge and stop the ramps from coming disconnected on the bow. With such an important piece, there's been a lot of consideration and planning in place for, um, to get to make sure their health and safety is perfect. The loading of the polar crane beam was successful with no issues. At the moment, the Osprey team are securing the beam to the barge and the marine team are just deballasting the barge, getting it ready to depart to Kumich this afternoon. So today we're at Kumich Wharf preparing to receive the electrical girder, girder A of the polar crane for Hinkley Point. So the polar crane sits in the HR building. It services the nuclear reactor during the operational life and during the construction phase it'll put in the reactor pressure vessel and the steam generators, the heavy lifts. What you're seeing now is you're seeing linesmen going from donut fender to donut fender attaching more lines to enable the barge to, to commence its turn into the wharf. So today we're discharging the polo crane girder beam A from the barge Isabel Rose. It's very crucial that we time the tide and the ballasting uh, correct to ensure that the load comes off safely. What you see when we're doing the ballasting, especially when we're doing an afloat discharge at Cummich Wharf, is it really critical that we maintain that balance throughout the load, especially as the load transfers across the barge. <music> Apco Polar Crane successfully landed at Cummich Wharf. Outstanding effort by uh, Team Osprey from, uh, from, from start to finish. Next, next stage of it is a move up the C182. Well done all, thank you. As the polar crane will be one of the last major components installed into the Unit 1 reactor building before dome lift, the crane components arriving on site marks a big moment for HPC. Done all our last minute checks, traffic management's in place, road closures in place. I've just had the phone call that the all stop has now been put on so there will be no traffic passing. Okay, so the polar crane beam has just arrived at site. We've just got the last few hundred metres to go, what we call the final mile. This has been incredible collaboration across a multidiscipline team across Europe to deliver this exceptional project safely and smoothly on time at Hinkley Point C. The team have been fantastic on this project so far. The collaboration has been second to none. We've delivered the polar crane beam, the first polar crane on the project. We've installed the polar crane onto a plinth, removing a lift and increasing safety. Thank you to all the teams involved in the manufacture, delivery and construction of the polar crane. So here we see the polar crane at the end of its journey to Hinkley Point C, delivered by the Osprey team. Months and months of planning, move went really well, smooth, a lot of professionalism, well done all.